Welcome back to Ask Brett. Hi. Hi. You like these little puppy hands? Yes, I've sewn them up a couple times now, trying to get them just right um, for Rachel Ray's stuff that we're still working on. It's like crazy in this house. Like we'll work on things for years. We'll work really hard on it and then something will happen. Like somebody has to go to work. <laughs> we can't live the dream of YouTube. Anyway, these are Rachel's little paws that actually can pull down handles and draw things and paint things and stuff. Um, so eventually we're going to get there, but I had to show them off because they're really cool. Um, they are foam and fake fur. They're not actually fur from a real brindle boxer and some fluffy, fluffy stuff going on there. But yeah, they're pretty cool. Just wanted to show those to you because I think it's fun when you take them like this and you're like, do, 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 do. <laughs> Okay, I'm having too much fun with this. And I can't quite put them down because little bits in here. And what are you doing? She's licking my cabinet. <laughs> but anyway, she got fixed yesterday. But on with the show, little bits. Come here. Come here, Hootie. Come be chill. You gotta stay with me. Okay, sorry about all that. So anyway, today I haven't really done much. I went and bought a burrito. <laughs> but yeah, so... um. I just wanted to come back on here and try to entertain you a little bit today. We still don't know who our president is. And looks like Kanye got about 60,000 votes. And he is going to run in 2024. And you bet I'm going to be voting for that guy. <laughs> but anyway, um, so I came home from getting a burrito. Hey, a little bit. Call me a girl. She just stole a napkin. I came home and I decided just to kind of goof off and look on... Um, I know, Facebook, ah, ah, gag me with a stick. But anyway, it's, um, I came home and I was like, hey, let me just look up Drunk History and see if there's anything on there. Because I love that show. I think it's so funny. Um, so I was watching the best of Jenny Slade and I was like, oh, Slate. And I was like, oh, she's so funny. You guys might know her from Secret Life of Pets or she's a little white fluffy dog. And it's funny because she looks like my neighbor, Renee. So Renee, you have a, you have a real life twin out there. And if you ever see mine, let me know. <laughs> but anyway, she is so funny. I would love to do that show. Um, it would be so awesome to have a few drinks and then memorize the history story and then <laughs> tell it. That would be so funny because... I think I'm funny when I'm having a couple of drinks, but that's also a segue to, uh, yeah, if you know somebody, make sure you hook me up for that show. <laughs> and also, um, also a segue to our wine. Hey, hey, our wine, uh, stuff is going pretty good. Every time I've, uh, let someone try it or brought it to a gathering last weekend for Halloween, they seem to like it. And so I guess I'll just keep making it. I would say it's pretty good. It's got tons of sugar in it, but yeah, it's pretty tasty. Um, but anyway, um, besides that, the wine, um, ate the, the burrito it was actually a burrito bowl from Muzz. I think it was called earmuffs. <laughs> I was like, how the heck does that relate to burritos? But anyway, <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, I'm looking at my notes over here cause I am having a hard time talking today. I'm also having a hard time staying motivated to do things and you can see that light. That light's supposed to shine on me to make me look like my face is a little better. <laughs> but that's okay. I am what I am. I need to make a shirt. I am what I am. You know, the food, the yam. <laughs> uh, but anyway. Um, so yeah. Oh, another thing about Drunk History is my favorite episode is uh, the one about Cleopatra and how she marries her brother. Uh, uh, but it also becomes queen. And then it said that her little sister was like 12. And I think her name was Arsini, Arsinoe, Arsinoe. Um, she totally steals this show on that one. So I really, I think that's my favorite episode of that. Um, so yeah, I think it's called Cleopatra's Little Sister Against Versus the World or something. Um, so you guys definitely have to check that out. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you guys, um, a couple things that I said I would start showing you guys my vintage stuff. Um, but before I do, I must tell you, I've made, um, a pretty cool button lately. Um, if you guys are gamers and you like to play old school games, this came out forever ago. It's called Parappa the Rappa, and it is the most fun game ever. So you guys should check it out if you can even get your hands on it. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, one of the buttons I made. It's, uh, Parappa the Rappa. There's lots of glare on there, but yeah, super fun. Have to wear it. I think I'm going to give one to my nephew because he's the bomb and he loves to game. So we'll just toss that back there 
along with the hands so they don't have to worry about holding on to them. Hopefully they can just mess them up. Ooh, but anyway, um, so I also wanted to show you um, something that was vintage that I've had for a really long time. Uh, when I was a little kid, I was really into watching MTV all the time. So I was really big into music and my mom and dad would take me to the shop or to town. <laughs> and I, I can't remember exactly where I got these, probably Walmart, but um, I was always collecting cards like baseball cards and hockey cards, which I don't even know too much about hockey. You know, Atlanta, we had the Thrashers for like a minute. <laughs> but anyway, so I would always um, really like you know, MTV wraps that would come on. And so I wanted to show you a couple of my cards. I actually have like a whole stack here. I mean, like a whole huge stack. So I think eventually I'm going to put them in my will for someone to have. And they're probably absolutely worthless, but they mean a lot to me and I love them. And I have a bunch of them. Um, like I think I have like two of these Bell Biv DeVoe ones, which are really cool. <laughs> no, Lisa, you cannot have them until I die. <laughs> so that one's pretty fun. Um, got the old school Flava Flav. Yeah. Where's this clock? I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's below down his shirt or whatever. Got a Bismarck E card. Pretty awesome. You know, he was on Yo Gabba Gabba for a while back, like 2008 or nine. Um, we got Dr. Dre and Ed Lava right there. Pretty cool. And then the one behind it is a uh, Heavy D and the Boys. I don't know if you guys, uh, of course you know who that is. Um, uh, let's see, you got Digital Underground, LL Cool J. I got like two different ones of him. I might have had a crush on that guy or something because I have a lot of those. <laughs> here's another one. Actually, I have three. Here's one. And then here's another LL Cool J. Yeah, I might have had a little, a little, little crush for him or something. So um, got some more Heavy D, Big Daddy Kane, Slick Rick. Young MC, another Bill Biv DeVoe, Tone Loke. Let's see, this one is really messed up. I don't know why. Maybe I put it like on my mirror or something. Um, but Run DMC is pretty sweet. Really like that one. <laughs> I don't know, it's so silly, but I just really like had a thing for uh, like rap music and stuff. Okay, Dr. Dre, doc, Dr. Dre. I cannot talk. Dr. Dre, come on. How could you mess that up? I guess a little nervous sometimes on camera for some reason. <laughs> so yeah, Dr. Dre and Ed Lava. So that's pretty great. Um, so yeah, like I have a whole bunch more on here. I could have swore I had a vanilla ice, but maybe not. Cool no D. I don't know. I'm gonna have to show my neighbor these, Tommy. He's he's really fun. I'll have to show those to him. Um so, and then my friend Homer, they love that stuff too. But, um, yeah, so that is one of my vintage situations here. And then for some reason, I found this down here, um, in the toy room. I guess I must have misplaced it or something, but I have like this old, like Barbie, I guess it's from like McDonald's or something back in the day where they used to give away. But for some reason I decided to braid her hair. So she's more like fashion. So I don't know if you can really see that, but yeah, totally rad. Okay. She doesn't need her regular super weird blonde hair, which that's more of a gray. If, if you were wondering, I always wondered that. I'm like, that's not blonde. That's gray. But anyway, don't need that. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> but anyway, uh, another thing I wanted to talk about, um, you guys know I'm really into art and I love to draw and paint and all that stuff, but it seems like I've been really lazy and not very focused, but I did want to tell you that if you guys are using like, you know, Crayola's fine, whatever. Like I have tons and tons and tons from over the years of using Crayola. But if you're really looking for like a really, really good, um, you know, like art collection or art set that you can actually use, um, as far as like art pencils, like they're like, these are water, watercolor pencils, but, um, Prismacolor is really, really great for like color pencils. Um, and they're really cool. Like this is just like one of the sets. I actually have like a regular one as well, but they give you like three different levels of them. So yeah, they're pretty cool. So if you're looking for some really good color pencils or watercolor pencils, you got to go with the Prismacolor. So just, just throw the other ones away unless you have kids and you don't want them to use your Prismacolor. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think of some other um, art materials that are really good. Um, but for now, I just wanted to talk about those because I love them so much and I have to find my other set because they're really, really good. Um, but anyway, um, 
yeah, so nothing's really been going on. Just kind of trying to get prepared for Isaac's football game, which we're going to the playoffs. Yay, go Baby Hawks. <laughs> they probably don't want to be called the Baby Hawks, though, <laughs> but that's okay. But anyway, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. I think we had a wonderful time on Halloween. Um, and I was Gumby for like five minutes because I really should have thought through my costume. But next year, I'm going to bring it. It's going to be planned. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to have the best costume ever. <laughs> but anyway, um, you guys give me a shout out. If you guys want me to talk about something specific, you want to ask me questions, you want to ask me uh, life questions, you want to ask me about my dogs, which she's right here. Miss Zoe is looking into my painting supplies. Hey, you're so cute. You're supposed to be wearing your cone, but you're not messing with your stuff. So I think you're okay. But anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. Um, it's super hot in Georgia right now, like over 70 degrees. And it was like 40 degrees the other day, like early in the morning. So it's pretty, pretty strange. But anyway, if you guys want to see some more of my random vintage things, which I guess this is considered vintage. It's 1991. <laughs> but anyway, um, love you guys. Hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you later. Bye.